Alright YouTube, White Horse here, gonna give you guys a deck profile of my wind-up deck. Uh, I just recently got it done, last night I got my Shockmaster. Um, long story behind that, why I traded off a Shockmaster when I have one, but I'm not gonna get into it, and I'm just gonna go ahead and show you guys the deck. Three Rabbit. Um, Rabbit's really, really consistent and really good. He's, he's just like, yo, I'm out, pretty much. He's not like Thunderbird. Uh, a lot of people play this in Chain Beat, and... It's just, it's just really, it's a really good out of the way. Like it, he gets out of the way whenever you're gonna need him for next turn. Um, three rat, rat. This card's awesome because he's like a monster reborn sorta, and um, he does power plays. Like if you have this dude in graveyard, you can go boom, boom, oh, invoker, and then blow up or whatever. So three rat's really good. My favorite wind-up of the deck is probably wind-up shark. Um, this card's broke. He's He can increase his level or decrease his level, so he just makes himself adjustable pretty much for whatever you want to overlay or go into. And uh, But the sad thing is, I believe you have to... Something has to be summoned for, in order for you to summon this, like you have to normal summon rat and then special this. So, he's not like Boar of the Spear. You can't just special summon him if you control one. But I wish it was like that. So, Shark. Uh, two, Wind Up Warrior. I like this better than Soldier. And if I had room, found room, had room, I would put Wind Up Soldier in here. But I like him just because he has 18 of defense. And he's really good. He, and he can be. He's sort of like Wind Up Warrior. He can increase his level. Or he's sort of like Wind Up Soldier, I'm sorry. That's the dude's name that I wish I had. Wind Up Soldier, not Warrior. Wind Up Magician. Uh, Konami hit this to one for a reason. It was broken. There was no sense in having three or even possibly two Wind Up Magician. I can agree with that. Just because this card itself can make Shockmaster first turn. If, if you do it right. Um... Two tour guide. I play this just sort of just to have an instant rank three if in case I need it or whatever. So it's just pretty much an instant Zen mains. Uh, Gors. I wanted to talk a little bit about Gors. A lot of people say this is bad in windups because like you have this deck plays a variant of spells and traps that you possibly will have on the field, but honestly. Like, if they wipe your board, you have a comeback right here. And all you need to do is buy time. Just just enough time just to go off again. So, Gorge is really consistent and really good. That's it for the monsters. It was 15. Spells, triple factory. This is what I don't understand. Um, wind up factory is at 3 and black world wins at 1. Um, this card is honestly better than whirlwind. Just because it says an effect of a wind up, and wind ups are nothing but effects. But like, wind ups are broken because of, like, of their effects. Like, they do more because of their effects, and this just allows them to do even more than what they already do. So, Whirlwind being at 2 would be pretty fair, I guess, but this is at 3. This is more broke. This is also, like, the key card you want to open to get to get all your stuff so triple MST I do sometimes side one just in case I don't need it but this is really it's really helpful it's really good um only because I have some consistency problems and weird hands in this deck I play duality like I said it's just for the consistency so. um avarice book my control dark hole reborn and storm um, I usually side these two out because they're not really that good game two, so. Uh, two chains. Also, I'm not sure how many traps I run. I think it was three, six, nine, twelve. Uh, fourteen traps. Um, two chains, fiendish chains. They're really good. If I had Valors, I'd probably play those two. Two bottomless, two deep prisons, two terrenals, uh, mirror force. Probably shouldn't be doing it like this, but just for you guys to see. Um, 
all that. And the Solemn Duo and Starlight to protect the back row. So, and traps, I run two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, eleven traps. So, not that many traps, really. Um, next side and extra deck, Wind Up Hunter is my token. Wind Up Zen Mains for rank threes. Invoker, Leviathan Dragon. Um, I like Leviathan. He's actually a pretty good pretty good rank 3 in this deck because you can detach and have stuff for rat plays and have this on the field so acid golem I never go this I'll actually think about taking it out so um I go I have a lot of rank 4 so I'm just gonna do this like this one Gaga Ga cowboy to steal games one Digusto emerald to uh it's actually really good cause like it's like an avarice so it's it gives you all your stuff back to do gay stuff with um, Maestroke, Maestroke I want to talk about for a little bit because it's sort of like Book of Moon, and I run Book of Moon, but having a second one and a great defense is also really good, and nowadays you sort of need it, but, Pap Daddy, um, it's wind-ups, I sort of need it. Shack Daddy, okay, this card is gay, um, if you make it first turn, you pretty much win, so. Utopia, just Utopia, standard. Uh, and Gaia, no, not Gaia, uh, Gym Knight Pearl, I'm sorry. Got them confused. Gym Knight Pearl, I run it just because of Evil Swarms, so. Um, and then I have for rank 5 is Volcosaurus. I love this card, it's really broken. Uh, it's 25, and it's sort of, it's a better Adrius. Um, Tyrus. I don't really care much for Tyrus. Every time I make it, it dies. So, I don't really care for it. Uh, Adrius. Okay, you guys are probably wondering why I'm running Adrius and, Tyr and Volcosaurus. Adreus, or Adrius, or whatever you want to call him. It says you can attach one to target one face-up card. Um, so, this can actually... Actually can target anything. Monsters and face-up cards. This only targets, I believe, monsters. So... I and I I mean I understand if it's a weird little difference, but it's it's a big difference to me. Uh, then Zen Mayo for the next format, I'm actually gonna run this. I think next format's gonna be a really trap heavy, trap heavy sort of format. So thinking about just playing this. So um, anyways, side deck, two maxis. Card's broken. Uh, it's really going to be really, really broke, I think, when maybe maybe against Fire Fist next format. But I see for next format being slow, so I don't think this is going to be as broken as this format it was. Uh, Fossil Donna. This card's awesome. Every time I set this, someone runs into it and always loses. So Thunder King. Um, <clears throat> a lot of people ask me why I didn't main these. Uh, I don't main Thunder Kings, um, just because I think Thunder Kings, in, in my opinion, <clears throat> sorry about that, I think he's like, sort of interrupts the factory thing, but you can play around it also, so I mean, it's really good against spell books. Mind Crush, this is for like, Dark Worlds, Mermels, or no, not Mermels and Dark Worlds, this is for like... This is for like dragons, I guess. I don't know. This is just a great card altogether. It's a really broken card. Uh, this is for mermails and dark worlds and graveyard heavy decks. So, soul drains and macros. Then the three mind drain just for dragons. So, all right, guys. Well, that concludes the deck profile. I hope you enjoyed. And remember to leave comments on what you thought about it. Um. Like the video, if you pl if you will, uh, help me out a little bit, and subscribe. Until next time, guys, this is what we're sending out. Peace.